Okay, so I've been seeing on the Street Fighter V forums and on the uh, now Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 forums a lot of complaints about a lack of direct input support for a lot of PS3 and PS4 only fight sticks. So I'm, this is just a simple tutorial to show you how to set it up through Steam and get it to work on any game. So you want, first you want to start on big picture mode. Go into the uh, settings. Go to controller mm -hmm. settings. And you'll see generic gamepad configuration support is unchecked by default. Leave that unchecked for now. And uh, if you plug in a direct input controller in, Steam should automatically detect it. Uh, my my uh, my stick here uh, has a switch for X input and direct input, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I have it set to direct input. So once you once you see the stick here detected through Steam, just simply click on it set up all the buttons. I already have it set up here, but uh, let me show you. Here, if I reset them all, you'll have to set up every single button here as if it were an Xbox controller. Primary, that's going to be A. A button. Uh, you want to click on that there. Press A. Yeah, you have to click on each thing here. It's a little tedious, but once once you got it working, it's no problem. All right, well, I'll just set it all up here. Okay, so fight sticks typically don't have any any sticks to click in, so you just want to skip over those. There's going to be L1 here. Just follow whatever uh, whatever buttons you see displayed on your on your tip on your stick right shoulder okay uh, most sticks I know have a d-pad and a left stick switch so make when you're setting up the d-pad make sure you have your switch set to d-pad and then once you go, we'll get to left stick set up, switch it to stick mode. And skip over the right stick option. Let me just make sure I got everything here. All right, simple as that. Once you got it all set up, just click save. Make a name for your controller. I got a Mayflash F300 here. You go ahead and upload. You don't have to upload it. I don't honestly don't know what it does. I believe it uh, creates a file for others to use if in case they have the same game, same stick, and Steam should automatically detect it. I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I'm not sure what that does. So once you got all the buttons set up, check this right box right here: Generic Impact Configuration Support. Right here, you'll see a message telling you basically make sure to disconnect your controller and reconnect it, then it should be working. Now it's de detected as a generic X input controller, mm -hmm. which means you can use it on uh, pretty much any game as a standard Xbox controller. Go back into controller settings, should be named there. Then you can see you can't you, you don't have an option to set up the buttons anymore, and it should now work in big picture mode. No problem. Uh, now, let's say I want to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It should, by default, uh, set up an Xbox controller configuration like this. In case it doesn't, it's really simple. Just press your X button. Go to templates, choose gamepad. Simple as that. Apply that configuration and you're good to go. Launch the game.
Marvel Comics. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. And you'll see it works right away. No problem. So this will work for Street Fighter, this will work for Marvel vs. Capcom, this will work for any game, literally any game. Uh, games that don't support game pads even, you can go to conf control configuration, you can set up a button here as a, any keyboard key if you want to. So in case there's any arcade-like games you want to have some fun with with an arcade stick, there you go, you're good to go. Alright, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to waste any time showing off any gameplay here. I'm not very good at this game yet. So, alright.